So LeVar Ball is maybe something of a Nostradamus and has predicted that his son, Lonzo Ball, would make it to the NBA and would play for the Lakers. Check and check. His son, Lonzo, is in the NBA. He is playing for the Lakers and he's on Summer League. So Lonzo being in Summer League, it, his play is... He's under scrutiny. So do you think there are anything that there's anything that the Lakers should be worried about based on what we've seen from Lonzo Ball so far in the summer league? I don't think so. I think that Los Angeles did their due diligence when they before that when they went ahead and they drafted Lonzo Ball. I think that they knew what they got when they signed the when they got the brought the kid in and they made the the move to go ahead and draft him. I think that this is a time for Laker fans, you know, and we've discussed this previously, uh, for them to be very excited about what the future holds. And I'll even say this, you know, Matt Magic Johnson has been one to kind of throw some fuel to the fire as far as putting a little bit of pressure on him saying hey, when they had their press conference saying hey I you're going you, you're going to wind up being having your jersey here in the rafters just along with me save me some records though you know <laughs> so I think that this is what the Lakers kind of wanted and, and in terms of Lonzo Ball He's from Los Angeles. He wanted to play for UCLA. He wanted to play for the Lakers. These are this is something that he's wanted all along. So I think that you know only time is going to want going to tell whether or not uh, this kid's going to be the superstar that many think expect him to be. But for now, I think he's ready to live up to the hype, and I think that he can handle the pressure that comes his way. Yeah, I think we might have pressed the panic button a little bit after his debut in the summer league where he kind of laid an egg uh, but he bounced back very nicely in the next game and had a triple double so I don't think that the Lakers should be worried about anything you uh, on the court you see why the Lakers wanted him those flashes of that court vision that he has and really understanding where his teammates are going to be and I think if anything they'd be worried about that ugly looking shot but hey as long as it goes in Who's worried about that? And maybe he might need to, you know, put some to meat on those bones, get That's some true. muscles, so he's not as lean and you know get knocked around as much. But I think the sky's the limit, and I think you know he's gonna continue as he gets his sea legs. Oh, I missed the air, other air quote. <laughs> he misses. He gets his sea legs. He'll just get better. And you, Magic Johnson's in the front office. I mean, who better to mentor him? than Magic Johnson. So the Lakers are fine. There's a, there's a nice added excitement to the Lakers that we haven't seen in a while. And I mean, some somebody took their Kobe Bryant jersey and then I think put duct tape over Bryant and wrote ball on top. I mean, I found that a little tad disrespectful, but you know, <laughs> it's evident of, you know, the, the excitement.